Hey guys, welcome back. Once again, we're gathered together to discuss another issue of Halo Escalation, part two of our direct follow-up to Spartan Ops. Our story picks up where we left off, with Infinity unable to make a slipspace jump and a potential source of interference identified on a nearby planet. The planet, being called Actus IV since the system has no official designation, is a planet with a vast ocean of opaque foam and apparently perfectly circular islands in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, definitely not suspicious. On the island, Majestic and Palmer experience the expected Covenant resistance. For a moment of usual nitpicking, Palmer refers to a Wraith as a plasma cannon. And the Wraith is facing the wrong direction. Yep. Anyway, local Covenant forces taken care of, Palmer and company stumble upon a Forerunner site, prompting Palmer to request Dr. Glassman's presence. We jump over to Jewel's ship, Song of Retribution, as he and Halsey discuss their plans to secure the other half of the Janus Key, Jewel making it clear that any screw-ups will come down on Halsey. The two are interrupted by a Sangheili warrior who informs Umdama of a traitor that has been identified. The traitor reveals that he is part of a group that claims Umdama is not the true Didax Hand, but that another Sangheili Sali- <laughs> Really? That's the name? Celine Yon? Are you kidding me? Celine Dion? Celine Dion? Is he a Sangheili with the greatest vocals in the galaxy? <laughs> I'm not the only one laughing at that name, right? <laughs> anyway, so... Celine Dion <laughs> is the true prophet. And so it would seem we've identified the true villain of the story arc, or so I believe. There's a simple truth with these comics, and it's sad that it's taken me this long to realize it. Nothing really happens. Sure, we get some interesting stories, but the grand story of the Reclaimer saga is basically on hold until Halo 5 Guardians comes out. I should also take a moment to address a long-standing art error in these comics. Why the hell do these artists keep drawing the Songheili with three fingers and one thumb? They're supposed to have two fingers and two thumbs. It's really fucking simple. Even stranger still is that sometimes they actually do get it right. Seriously, WTF? Anyway, Jewel kills the heretic and orders his men to do the same with any other heretics they find. Meanwhile, on Atkus 4, we seem to have stumbled into Spartan Ops. Seriously, you couldn't design something a little more unique? We don't even have the characters remarking about how similar it is to the environments on Requiem. No, no, nothing, nothing, that's it? Fine, fine. So, Palmer and Glassman are exploring while Majestic guards the entrance, and inside they find- OH, ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! ANOTHER Requiem artifact! And again, no response to the similarity? <laughs> fucking... God damn it. On board Song of Retribution, the obvious plot twist is revealed. It's a trap set up by Halsey and Jewel. To the comic's credit, this plan is a pretty ingenious way to get the key delivered right to them. Given how stupid everyone on Infinity seems to be, of course they deliver the artifact right into Jewel and Halsey's hands. Though, in defense of the Infinity crew, none of them are aware of how important the key is, or what it does. And I will say, Palmer, seemingly from recent experience, is pretty quick to say no to any notion of bringing the new artifact on board Infinity. Anyway, as Infinity gets ready to move the key, Jewel's forces move into place to retrieve the key once it's delivered to the surface of Atkis IV. Unfortunately, somebody jumps the gun and shoots the pelican out of the sky. As both the UNSC and Jules' forces scramble to find out who shot the thing down, it is revealed that the shooter was in fact Celine... <laughs> Sorry, just... <laughs> it sounds like a... <laughs> the true shooter was Celine Yon and his splinter group. The comic ends with Celine... <laughs> Sali in possession of the Janus Key Fragment, Jewel's force is preparing to engage Infinity, and Jewel heading to Atkus Force Service to discover who shot down the Pelican and end him. And that's issue 14. Overall, a pretty good issue. As I said in my last video, I'm not really expecting any major events to occur, but I'm certainly interested in the story of a splinter faction within Jewel's forces. It's an interesting way to engross the reader without having to make any serious story decisions that may leave the larger fanbase confused. Of course, at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed that we have this ongoing comic series that basically amounts to little more than a cock tease. Worse, and again, I'm disappointed it took me this long to figure out, they are planning these storylines around the future trade paperbacks, which will always contain six issues. So, there goes any real long-term story investment. And that pretty much wraps up this review of Halo Escalation. 
Looking forward, our next two issues will conclude the Janus Key story arc, and issue 17 will begin a two-parter called The Glass Horizon. The official description is as follows. An action-packed survival tale on the treacherous and barren glasslands of a Covenant-ravaged colony world, and a Spartan Force mysterious origin revealed in this two-part thriller. At the risk of setting myself up for disappointment, I don't really want to jump the gun on getting excited. Nevertheless, the idea of looking into a Spartan's mysterious origin is intriguing, especially since all Spartan Force should, at least for the UNSC, be pretty well documented. Perhaps it's a revelation to the reader. Also of interest is the new Covenant ship design on the cover. There are several ships that we have never seen before that have been mentioned in the fiction, so perhaps one of these ships is something that we've heard of, but never seen. Here's hoping. For now, this has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you Spartans and Elites next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not.